but some people let your girl add you like first of all some of you have not subscribed why now let me give you one minute just press the subscribe button you are enjoying the show you may as well subscribe eh? you know i do well thank you very much mommy and daddy <laughs> uncle and auntie okay so i didn't want to talk about this but my dear is it true eh? Baba, <laughs> can you imagine that PDP just put my uncle in his place like that? Ha, Barabu Kola. Is it true that PDP will treat my uncle like that? Eh, Barabu Kola, please let me deal with them. Muamanyo, they don't know who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, Nigerian Senate president has been campaigning for president that he's ready to grow Nigeria if people vote for him. If you are looking for a 21st century leader, you will vote for me and grow this economy for the interests of the millions and millions of you. Thank you. Thank you very very much. You see, this is what I'm saying. They even call him the man with Sabi Road. Make me follow my way, Sabi. See, I don't know why some Nigerians don't want to follow the man with Sabi Road. The man Sabi Road from Abuja to Ilongo. PDP, you disappointed me. You disappointed Mama. Do you know how popular Saraki is? In Kwara State and on the internet, and many young people were rooting for this man. Only for the man to get just 317 votes. Out of about 4,000 delegates, only 317 people voted for my uncle. <laughs> Can you imagine that insult? Ah, can you imagine? On top of that, people were making fun of the man on the internet. On Twitter, on Facebook, people were, ah, what is wrong with you? This is my tweet. Are, are you out of your mind? Take it down. As I was saying, enemies of progress, they were making fun of my uncle. They said out of the 317 votes, 102 are from the Quara State delegates. I said, how about the man tried? Not, didn't he try? And there were people with less votes. Show them. You see what I'm saying? He was the number three at the PDP convention. You can't please Nigerians. What more do you want? Don't you know that? That this life is tough. Eh? Ayeli, you can be a godfather somewhere in maybe Kwara State and have no influence at the federal level. It happens. Ayeli. Ayeli, oh, Ibo Sio. Thank you, my mother. You know what I don't understand is the fact that Uncle Dino has been campaigning for this man left and right. <laughs> Did they know just Not only that, according to Dino Melaye, Saraki was supposed to be the one to save us from all our suffering. <laughs> understand Dino Melai has been suffering for a long time the man has been suffering the man will be a good MC by the way if you have a wedding or birthday party coming up contact Dino Melai but you know having said all that on oh, Barabukola this is not the end of the road for my uncle I can assure you guys that my uncle will bounce back very soon very very soon all of you enemies of progress that are making fun of the man I'm watching you on plasma TV now the good thing is the Senate is now back in session thank you very much uncle Bukola you probably watched my last episode <laughs> If he were lost, and you see, nobody impeached you. And how can anybody even impeach him when Dino Melaya is right there? <laughs> By the way, is this a senator or area boy? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting confused. I'm not abusing you, my uncle. The man is threatening to beat up APC senators if they try to impeach Saraki. Hey, how much did they get paid again? Hey, father, you see this? How much they get paid every month? <laughs> These are the kind of leaders we have in Nigeria. <laughs> we don't suffer. In any case, former Vice President Abaka Atiku has now emerged as the PDP presidential candidate running against Muhammadu Buhari next year. So I'm going to hear what you guys think about 
this. In the meantime, former President Oluchegun Nobasanjo, who accused Atiku of being a thief, has now put his support behind the man. You know, he's now supporting Atiku. Not only that, Bishop Uyedepo, you know, he is also supporting Atiku. So this coming election is already getting tantalizing. Um, one thing is obvious that everybody is tired of the Buhari administration. Unless you've not been directly affected by what is happening in Nigeria, the economy is bad. It has gotten worse. People are hungry. There is no security. Besides Boko Haram killing people, we now have herdsmen killing people as well. And Buhari has refused to declare the herdsmen as terrorists or go after them, even though they are killing people. Not just that. The president doesn't even know that things are not working in his country. We've heard several times that the cabal are the ones in charge of the country, yet he wants to run for second time. So I want to know what you guys think about this coming election. Who is your candidate? Do you have one? And why are you supporting the person? Koyedo has been saying for a long time that with the PDP and APC candidate, it's like a thief versus somebody surrounded by thieves. I mean, I don't know. You can't hear that from him, you know? But I'm really excited to see that two women are now running as well. That is former minister OBS Sexu Isili, as well as Mrs. Yunis Atu Ejide. I'm so excited to see that women are also in the race. So we now have a lot of candidates. Who's your candidate and why? You guys don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. Make me follow my way, Sabi. Make me follow my way, Sabi. Ah, you don't finish. Make you follow my way, Sabi Road.